This is a sneak peek of Harcourt Horizons Social Studies. When you receive Horizons, your student will receive a textbook. Within this textbook is all the reading and the activities you will need for the year. We are looking at a third grade textbook today. As you look in the front here, you'll see how um, this book is laid out for the school year. This book covers six units. Within these six units, it's six units for the whole school year, within these six units, it's broken down into chapters. So each unit will have two chapters that um, your student will work through. Within each chapter then are broken down into the lessons. And you will see that um, for chapter one, there are about uh, five to six lessons. This is how it is throughout all the chapters. So you're looking at doing um, unit one, which would be chapters one and two, in about um, two to three weeks. So each unit will take about two to three weeks to complete, depending on how involved you want to get with each lesson. So by the time um, we typically have 36 weeks in a school year, well, 35 or 36, and by the time you get through unit six, that is about 36 weeks. So that's kind of how you will plan out your year using this, um, using Horizons. Each unit, um, there's some nice maps here in the front, getting ahead of myself here. Each unit is um, a introduction to what the, the unit's going to be about. This will be your first lesson. And you'll see that the reading, the vocabulary, um, is all involved. A nice story introduces the skills and concepts that will be taught. Um, it's very colorful. And then um, it goes into the first chapter, and then it breaks it down into lesson one, two, three, four, five, however many lessons are in that chapter. Okay, very well organized. Um, what I would suggest is, you know, lesson one be day one. And as you guys either together read through the material or have your student read through the material. Um, and then at the end here, they have a lesson review and they have some activities that you can choose from. Now, if your student is a big history buff, you know, go ahead and do all of them if you have time for it. If you don't have um, the time in your schedule, just pick one or two that interests your, your child, and that would be your social studies lesson for the day. Okay, so it's very manageable. Um, no worksheets, no arts and craftsies, unless that's a choice that you choose in the review. Um, and then the next day, you would just go into lesson two do the reading, and then again choose from one of their choices of the lesson review. Towards the back of the book, um, well and after, I should say, after each chapter two, they have a review section, um, a test preparation, um, question and answers from the text, and um, Again, in the back here, um, they have references, a biographical dictionary, gazetteer, glossary, and index. Now, if, if you are a parent who really likes a teacher's guide, this does come with a teacher's guide. And for those of you that are interested, I will go through that quickly right now. Um, however, my opinion with the teacher's guide is that um, I don't think you need it, <laughs> to be honest. Um, and my main reason for that is because it is written for a classroom of, you know, 20 to 
35 students. And so there's a lot of information in here that yes, might be useful to you, but it's also overload. And a lot of this you won't even refer to. Um, you might get bogged down thinking you need to do all of this and you do not. But like I said, for those that really like the teacher's guide, uh, my suggestion, suggestion, excuse me, for you guys is that you just stick to finding the lesson that you're using or the lesson that your student is on. And then um, this, the teacher's guide really, um, what would be beneficial about it was that it just um, offers um, some script for you, maybe some questions to check for understanding or to start a, a discussion, um, gives you even more activities to choose from. So um, it gives you ideas for group instruction. Um, so again, you know, it, it would provide you with some more ideas if that's what you feel you need. However, I do believe that just using the textbook is going to give you all the information you need and it, it supplies you with enough activities at the end of each lesson for you to choose from to make it um, a meaningful lesson. So if um, Horizons looks like something that would interest you and you'd like to talk more about it, please give me a call. Star Williams at 503-758-3636.